Hello, it's teacher Christy back again with Inquiring Minds Want to Know. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 teacher no-show nightmares. And by nightmare, I mean literally nightmares. I'm pretty sure the first three weeks that I worked for <clears throat> VIP Kid, I developed a anxiety disorder that I'm still recovering from. I think I need therapy. That's another story. So top 10 teacher no-show nightmares. Take it from the expert who may or may not have learned this the hard way. Number one, teacher nightmare. This happens to new teachers. It happened to me week two. You show up in the classroom. You're sitting there all ready to go. Got your cute hat on. You're waiting. And no student, no student, no student, no student, no student. You wait the whole 25 minutes where it says nobody is here. And you get teacher no-show and you go, what happened? Well, you were probably in the wrong classroom. So number one, no-show tip from me. If you get to a classroom and there's no student, look at the upper right-hand corner where it says classroom time countdown. Make sure you're in the right classroom because they will, in fact, give you a no-show even though you're in the wrong classroom. So, learn that the hard way. Teacher no-show nightmare number two has happened to more than one of us, and that is the computer updates. Most of us are very responsible computer owners. We have it on automatic computer update, and so it will automatically computer update in the middle of a class, it'll do it in the middle of the night, and you wake up, your computer doesn't work, all of a sudden you see computer updating, 29 minutes. No. My advice to you, turn off computer update altogether. Just turn it off, put up an alert, an alarm, do it when you can, because mischief and mayhem can happen on the computer update, and you just don't, you don't want it, it's a nightmare. Teacher no show nightmare number two, checking the 24 hour box and forget it. If you check the 24 hour box and you have a cancellation, it shows green, what have you, they will reschedule you. The fireman will put a, a student in there, no matter what. So you go to sleep going, oh, phew, I can sleep in tomorrow, it's gonna be a lovely day. You wake up, you have like 10 no-shows. Don't, don't do it. My advice to you, and this is what I've learned the hard way, not only with that 24 hour notice, but with errors, with sleeping, with not waking up on time, my advice to you is to get up at the same time no matter what. So if I have a, a cancellation, in my case, at 3 in the morning, I still get up at 3 in the morning. And it saved my butt more than once. Because, you know, something got scheduled. It's possible something by error got scheduled. Um, just don't. So my advice to you, take it or leave it. I just get up at the same time every day, even if it says cancel. And I might go lay back down, but that saves me the no-show. Number three. Electric power outages. It only takes one blown fuse to completely take down your router for 20 minutes. And you will get a no-show if you weren't in class. If you're not logged in, you're just going to log, you'll get a no-show. Even if you were in the one before, it doesn't matter. So there's an easy solution to that. I used to have blown fuses. There's an easy solution. It's an uninterrupted power supply. 40 bucks at Amazon. Put your router on an uninterrupted power supply. So if you break a fuse, you you know, power goes out, what, I, what have you, you're still going to have a good solid five hours on your router. I mean, you might be able to get a flashlight. At the very least, you'll get a teacher IT rather than a teacher no-show if you have to teach in the dark. But under for power supply probably saved me what it cost me the first time I had to use it. So electric going out. Um, oversleeping is a problem. And it can be a problem for a number of reasons. Um, one, uh, I don't know, someone unplugged the charger for your phone and your phone is dead. Daylight savings time. You didn't hear it. You slept on it. It's in the other room. You forgot it. My advice to you is set two alarms. Set one alarm that's on like a cell phone. Set another alarm that's a physical alarm. You know, the wind up kind with the clock with the battery. You have both a battery and a non battery one just for backup. My advice to you is also get different kinds of ringers. So, like, my alarm goes off like three or four times but there's a different ringer uh, progressively. I've got this great program that does this huge siren that's really obnoxious. And so like two minutes before my first class, it just starts like this police siren that's terrible. And I know that if that ever, 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 ever goes off, it's a nightmare. And so I know that I need to be in class. Um, don't oversleep. And you'd be surprised. I have never, ever in my life overslept until um, this job it happened. And that was the first time ever. So, you know, it takes a toll on your sleeping habits. Teacher nightmare number six, and you will get a no-show for this, uh, and you'll probably blame the system. You're clicking around. It's very, very easy to click one of your classes, like at, I don't know, one in the morning, and not realize it. And all of a sudden, you have a class, 
And sure as sure, shit, this is probably filled. If it's on the weekends, it's going to fill. So now you have a 1.30 class in the, in the middle of the morning. You're like, I didn't schedule that. Why would I schedule that? Well, you probably did. You probably accidentally clicked it. If you accidentally click it and somebody books it, you will be expected to teach it. If you don't teach it, you'll get a no-show or cancellation. So my advice to you is to be really careful, to always watch, to check. And if it does click and a student does book it, don't bother. Just get up and teach it. Um, but make sure you're really paying attention. So I always check every day, you know, not just my schedule for the coming day, but I just make sure that there's not green anywhere else that it's not supposed to be because it won't matter. You don't do it. Then there's um, internet outages, which uh, will happen to all of us at some point if you don't prepare for it. Um, if you can, get a cell phone with a hotspot. So I just uh, got upgraded T-Mobile, free hotspotting. It will run, uh, I think, a 20 up. MBS, which is not, um, for me, you know, I probably don't want to teach on it regularly, but it will save your butt. If your router doesn't work, if your internet service is out, if there's an electrical storm, you got your uninterrupted power supply and you got your hotspot data, you're probably going to be good. Next teacher nightmare, number eight, daylight savings time. I learned this one the hard way. Luckily, I, I managed to, to make it to class, but, uh, Sometimes your phone doesn't update its alarm system to daylight savings time until 7 in the morning. So when it's 3 a.m. and it changes the daylight savings time at 3 a.m., your clock may in fact wake you up at 4. Just saying. Set many alarms for daylight savings time. Um, another one that's relatively common uh, that's almost happened to me a couple times is I, I kind of nap between classes sometimes when it's been a really long day. I'll just kind of like couch out in my wonderful beanbag and nap. Uh, set an alarm. Always set an alarm. I got this great thing called Alexa. It was really cheap. I just go, Alexa, set an alarm for 6.30. And Alexa goes, set an alarm for 6.30, and then she wakes me up. It's wonderful. Always, always, always set an alarm. Even if I'm going to get up and go feed the dogs, I will often set an alarm because you only got like two minutes. So make sure that you're paying attention to those things. These are the main kinds of teacher no-shows that are really going to affect your record that a lot of times we don't feel like are our fault, but that have basic, simple hacks to um, avoid those kinds of no-shows. And, and so there you go. I hope it helps. I hope that we have a few less nightmares. I hope it saves you at least one teacher no-show. Thanks for watching. Hey, subscribe. See, subscribe, subscribe button. My goal is to put out, um, you know, five, videos a week for the next couple months because I really want to get in the habit and I really want to get this information out there and I'm really motivated. You know, the subscribers and the buttons and likes, that's pretty motivating for me. So make sure you subscribe and let me know. Is there a topic you want to talk about? Bye for now.